Pete? Marker? Judd and longer. Wake up! Who has to go to the laboratory? So how long have you been at Sherman, Mr. Vernon? Bring up the rear. Why well, that's three minutes for the girls, two minutes for the boys. How come the girls get an extra minute? They're of the opposite sex, Dodo. Does that mean Andy gets an extra minute? Peel off, ladies. Arganaga, you're on the clock. Are we inconveniencing you? Hey, do you have any skin cream? My neck is really sad. Hello? Are you okay? I mean, can't he go and talk at the same time? Hello? Shake it off! Let's go, zip it up. So sad. You're washing your hands, but you'll eat food inches away from a live toilet. I'm sorry. I don't want to depress you. Really, I was just reacting to something I consider a little out of the ordinary. 
If you'd like to talk, I think I could probably handle it. They were known as Lucifer and the men with painted faces. Then they burned New Orleans to the ground. And when they sacked Panama, I knew that my road to redemption would be paved with tombstones. And by the time they brought the apocalypse to West Africa, and the Indian Ocean, I would come to know two words with biblical significance. No quarter. No quarter. Kill all masters. Rated R. Coming soon. Available on all platforms. Visit noquarterkillallmasters.com. Boy, these things don't talk back. Huh. <laughs> Brian, how you doing? Your dad work here? Uh, Carl? What? Can I ask you a question? Sure. How does one become a janitor? You want to be a janitor? No, I just want to know how one becomes a janitor because Andrew here is very interested in pursuing a career in the custodial arts. Oh, really? Well, you go out with a bride named Maria Pagliani, spend your senior year in the backseat of her dad's Buick Electra, humping your ass off, thinking you got life cooked. Then uh, you live with your parents for about eight years, sell some hash, get busted, blow out the transmission in your old man's car, and keep on fucking up, you know, fuck up, fuck up, and then when you're tired of fucking up, you fuck up some more. You know, fuck up as much as you want, right? Then when you stop doing that, fucking up, you come here, you fill out an application with Don McKinley down in personnel, and uh, you'll be ranking in 11.74 an hour in no time. Mm. Andy, thank the man. You guys think I'm just a lowly janitor, right? Some fucking untouchable peasant, sir? Peon, you know? Maybe so. But following a broom around after shitheads like you for the last eight years, I've learned a couple of things. I read your notes. Yeah. I look through your letters. Look through your lockers. I listen to your conversations. You don't know that, but I do. I am the eyes and ears of this institution, my friends. I know where you are now, and I know where you'll be in the future. Twat lips. You. You get 10 years max. That's right. <laughs> Drugs, run down trailer in West Texas. Your whore bitch wife takes the kid, splits. You shoot a fatal dose, game over. <laughs> Dogs eat your carcass before the cops arrive. They don't even know who you are. Probable, maybe not. Possible, I think so. Mr. Wizard, yeah, lots of material success, corporate position, big bucks, black jag, big jag. Boom, boom, boom. 
three fucking heart attacks before you're 38, 39. Ms. Sensitive. Poet. Pretty fucking good. Nobody gives a shit. <laughs> you have three kids. Then you get married. Then you get a nice wood-paneled station wagon. And you're the hit of the carpool, believe me. Huh. <laughs> Muscle butt. <laughs> District sales manager of a golf club manufacturer. Here's Andy. 22.5 a year, a shitty little compact car, and that stewardess you married, boy, becomes a box car. I mean, huge. <sighs> Homecoming queen. Six facelifts and two boob jobs by the time you're 40, and a husband with more girlfriends than anniversaries. Hey, but I'm just the janitor, huh? By the way, that clock's 20 minutes fast.